Hello fellow crafters and welcome to Kakui Crafts. I've already shown you how to fold one origami snowflake, but here is a different version. For this model, you will need a snowflake base. So if you don't already know how to fold a snowflake base, check out this video where I teach you how. So without further ado, let's get crafting. So here is my snowflake base and we're going to flip it over and fold each corner to the centre, making sure that this diamond sticks out and does not get creased down the centre. And flip the paper over and strengthen the crease here. This stops from creating a faint crease on the diamond. And repeat five more times. So here you can see my diamond doesn't want to stick out and this is because these inside reverse folds have come undone. So let's just fold those back in. And now when we try to fold the corner to the centre, the diamond pops out. Each diamond has two flaps. Fold one up like this. Now we want to bend this edge to the centre crease. But only pinch this point, don't crease throughout. Then, using this pinch mark as a reference, align this point with the crease. And starting from the pinch mark we just made, make a crease. Now fold this flap back down and also fold the top flap down and we want to make an identical crease mark so we can just align the top flap with the bottom flap and crease there. Now unfold and repeat this for the other five branches of the snowflake. We're going to use the creases we just made to make open sink folds on each flap. So unfold the branch like this and make all three creases of this triangle mountain folds. and push like this to make an open sink. Repeat on the opposite flap. Make all three creases of the triangle mountain folds. And push like this to make the open sink and fold the branch flat. Now repeat this on the five other branches. Flip the model over and we're going to fold the bottom edge to the central crease but we don't want to make any creases through the branches so just pinch at either end
then flip the model back over and strengthen the crease, making sure not to crease anywhere on the branches. So just on the middle and under the branches here, like this. So you can see there are no crease marks on the branches. And repeat five more times. Okay, and flip the model over. And now we're going to fold along two of the creases we just made at the same time. It might help to bring the model off the table like this. Make sure not to make any new creases, especially through the branches. Make sure it's nice and neat at the centre. Let me show you that one more time. We're going to fold along both these creases at the same time and make sure this flap doesn't stick up. Now we're going to bisect this flap by folding this edge to this edge, like this, and fold until this corner here, and do the same on the opposite side, by folding this edge to this edge and bisecting that flap. and fold to the corner like this. Now I'm just trying to straighten out my branch here so it looks more symmetrical. And insert your finger into this pocket here and squash fold symmetrically, bringing the bottom tip of that branch to the center of the model. and fold two creases and here I am folding two creases in these flaps flattening the branch Now we want to open this pocket here and fold the outside edges to the gap created by the two layers of paper below. Just like this. Okay, let me show you that a bit closer up. So we're going to fold along this crease which we made earlier. We're going to make sure that this flap isn't sticking up and then we're going to bisect it by bringing edge to edge. and repeat on the opposite side. Now we want to flatten this branch by making a squash fold here. So insert your finger into the pocket and squash fold by pressing down on the center crease, creating two new creases. And then flatten your branch by making two more creases here. Now 
Now insert your finger into this pocket and fold the edges to the centre creating a diamond shape. Now repeat four more times. Once I have three diamonds done, I like to fold along the two remaining creases to have all the branches pointing towards the centre. You might like to place this model under a book or run an iron over it to make it completely flat. And there you have it, another beautiful snowflake model. This snowflake is an excellent Christmas decoration. You can hang it on your tree or simply stick it to the wall. If you'd like to learn how to make another great Christmas decoration, why not check out this star ornament? If you found this video useful, please press that like button. And if you'd like to support this channel, please visit Kakui Crafts on Etsy, where you can find various printable PDF origami models. Thank you for watching and craft something beautiful today.